We made it. Okay, so first match is gonna be none other than Ken Siro versus X Zesho. So Zesho, I'm just gonna call. So both are new players in this tournament. It's going to be JP versus Ken. So definitely looking forward to see uh, how both of these players are going to duke it out. As you know, uh, there has been a tournament during this weekend, which was the Brussels Showdown, I think it is. A tournament which took place in uh, Brussels, actually. And in which uh, a French individual actually ended up winning. I'm very, very proud. His name was Kane, by the way. And he played uh, he played Ken, so we have a lot of Ken representation during today's tournament. Definitely looking forward to see if we're going to have another Ken winner today. We shall see. That being said, here we go with the first match. And as you can see, currently Kenshiro has a slight advantage, but unfortunately for him, he is currently in the corner. But Exeshu is in burned out state, and he does a wonderful job of alternating between hits and grabs very nicely done oh he definitely did man and uh yeah that just shows uh that uh skills can be carried from one game to another especially even if it's like two games who have absolutely nothing in common just like rebel fighters and street fighter 6 it just shows that uh yeah if you are actually very proficient in one given game this skill can definitely transition to um well to other games which are not necessarily in the same uh the same uh, genre you know, so yeah, definitely a oh, very nice DI punish right there from Exesho, who was definitely fishing for it using his Jinrai. He takes the first match quite convincingly, not going to lie, but it's still over. It's not over till it's over. Kintero definitely has a, the, uh, the, a chance to uh, make a comeback. We shall see. That being said, here we go with the second round. Let's see if Kintero can actually adapt. Very nice run up grab right there from Exesho. Kenshiro right now trying to zone Zesho as much as possible. And here we go with Zesho closing the gap with the Dragon Lash. Here we go with the corner combo. Tries to go for a... Ooh! Tried to go for a tick grab. Very nice um, uh, tick from, uh, from Kenshiro. That being said, here we go with the Dragon Lash and the nice grab from Kenshiro. Managed to put a little bit of distance between him and his opponent. This is the, uh, the spacing that... Uh, JP absolutely dominates in this pers in, in, in this game. Let's see how Zesho is going to deal with it. Zesho managed to close the gap. Got the sweep. He got the shimmy. Went for... Ooh, he tried to probably reset using the Dragon Lash. And here we go with the x Rai. Tried to go for the kill. Unfortunately, a little bit too delayed with the, the, the Dragon Punch. Very nice command grab. And just like this, Kenshiro actually managed to get the first round of the second match. Let's see if Zesho can actually change the tides and manage to bring it back again here we go with the pikes oh and it is back no entire right there from kenshiro this is definitely got not gonna be a very nice position for him very nice counter di though from kenshiro manage to react whoa that's a pretty interesting combo very nice corner carry by the way damn that was pretty good very nicely done by kenshiro managed to not only deal a very nice hefty amount of damage but also uh, get a pretty nice corner carry. That being said, the show is back on track. Here we go with the Dragon Lash. You have to respect it. And Kenshiro already in the corner. Went for the DI punish. The Dragon Lash attempt. And here we go. Let's put some distance right there. Go straight for the level 3. And this should kill. Good stuff from Kenshiro. Puts one on the board. Definitely not over till it's over. Oh yeah, this show, man. The reaction on this man. But Kenshiro also very nice, uh, very nice reactions as well. Definitely managed to uh, adequately punish the Dragon Lash attempt from Zesho with the DI, and this uh, pretty much awarded him with the uh, kill, and very nicely done at that. That being said, here we go with the third match, this time around with the grab from uh, Zesho. Tried to go for another grab a little bit too far, though. Mr. Okay, Kenshiro using the 2MP to try to put some distance between him and his opponent. Uh, that was an oddly timed grab, but it definitely worked out for Zesho in the end. And here we go with the corner pressure. This time around, no reaction on the DI. Ooh, a little bit too high right there to con connect with the Jin, right? And okay, Kenshiro getting a little bit more comfortable, I feel. No punish right there on the Dragon Rush. On the Dragon Rush. On the Drive Rush. I need to stop calling it Dragon Rush. I don't know why. Dragon Rush, we're not playing Drivable Fighters. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Oh, okay. I didn't know that the, uh, the X version of the command grab of uh, JP could uh, go through projectiles. I'm actually pretty surprised. Okay, and here we go with the grab from Zesho. He... Oh, Lord! Okay, nice. A very nice uh, tick right there from uh, from Zesho. Tried to go for the grab to seal the deal. Yeah, a little bit too late. Oh, and that DI right into the 
the the J blade. I'm gonna call it. Yo, and on to the second round of this third match. Okay, nice start of the round for Kentiro. Managed to put some distance. And here we go with the zoning game, the Eye of Sauron in the sky, the purple Eye of Sauron. <laughs> and the Jin right here, we go with the grab. Oh! And it is back to these. Ooh! And the big DI on the two, the, the crouching MK of uh, Kenshiro. Here we go with the TP. Oh, wow! Okay, that didn't quite connect, but it was an instant or a uh, uh, fuzzy, actually. Did uh, it, 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 I. Pretty sure there's the potential of it uh, to connect uh, with the Eye of Sauron. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And here we go with the TP. Nice grab right there from Kenshiro. He's on the verge of taking the second round though. And nice tech again with this Dragon Lash. A little bit too far too. Oh, he got the grab though this time around. What is it gonna be? And here we go with the X. Oh lord! The X Jin right into the level three. Sit down and shut up! <laughs> Good stuff from this show. Takes this third uh, match, actually. Very nicely done. That was a pretty clutch finish right there. Immediately converted, uh, confirmed off of the X-Gene right uh, straight into the level 3 for the kill. Let's see if Kenshiro can... Um, uh, let's see if uh, Kenshiro can continue and... Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, stay. Straight into the uh, fourth match. Let's see if Kenshiro can bring it back. We shall see. Oh, and here we go with the parry. Ah, uh, yeah. This show probably trying to fish for a perfect parry right there to try to bring back the momentum. Okay, yeah, so it is confirmed that, yeah, uh, the... What's called the, um... The, what's called the... Command grab from uh, JP can actually clash with the project projectile I wasn't aware. Well, I play Kami, so I never really had this, uh, Any practical way of confirming this theory, but yeah, we could see it, like, actually, literally right now, so it was cool. Anyways, here we go back to the match. Nice sweep right there from Zesho. Got the knockdown, went from the Dragon Lash and got punished this time around. But Kenshiro, who uh, was aware of this. Here we go with the Eye of Sauron in the sky for the kill. Okay, Kenshiro definitely not out of it yet. And on to the next battle. Ah, here we go with the Dragon, the Drive. Oh, and the counter, the Eye from Zesho definitely was uh, looking for it. Goes for the corner carry. He's in the corner. Wanted to bait a tech from Kenshiro. Nice use of DDI. Here we go with the grab. And it's back to grab land. Tick throw. Yeah, try to uh, bait either the reversal or the grab. And here we go. Speaking of which. Okay, nice grab right there from Kenshiro. He's got the corner positioning. And he got scooped by the Dragon Lash. Unfortunately for him. This is set point. Let's see if Zesho can seal the deal or if Kenshiro is going to make a miracle comeback. Wow, the rod drive rush straight into the grab, man. This cojones, the cojones on, uh, on Zesho. And the DI, ooh, but unfortunately could not sustain the third hit of the, uh, the J-Blade. And here we go with the teleportation into the left. No, that was level three. No, that was definitely a... Uh, that was definitely an execution error. Unfortunately for Kenshiro, man, he lost his level 3. He's in the corner. He does have a lot of drive, so able to sustain... Oh, and the DI for the punish, but he doesn't have any bars right now, but it's still fine. Okay, this is pretty... Oh, but he went into... Okay, he just wanted the, uh, the exhausted state and managed to bait the jump in into the entire for the kill. We have two matches apiece. A tie, ladies and gentlemen, who is going to be able to... Uh, take this first match. We shall see. Very, very. Um, uh, I'm proud of my uh, <laughs> of my seed because right now both the uh, opponents seem to have a similar uh, a similar level right now. Right on the first match of this uh, of this tournament. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the Jinrai. Yeah, you can see Kinshiro having some problems dealing with it. And the run up grab, man, from Zesho. Not afraid. Tried to go for the X Fireball. Kinshiro was a little bit too uh, slow in order to punish it. With the jump in, that is. And it's back to the Jin right. Ooh, and the counter DI. No siree. Get out of here. And back to that really, really nice combo that I absolutely adore. That is... Wow. He timed it, man. He timed the ghost attack, man. Perfectly. And here we go with the X command grab. What is this you're going to do? This is... Yeah, that was pretty hard to sustain. Not going to lie. And just like this, we have a reverse set point right there for Kenshiro this time around. So let's see if Zesho can manage to bring it back. Are we going down to the wire? Last round from the last match. We shall see. Okay, nice checks right there with the 2MK. 
And no end tires again from Kenshiro. Oh, got counter DI though. Boom. And it's in the corner. You're going sir, straight into the level three. Okay. Zesha with the statement right there does not want to let any damage out uh, of the um, of um, well out, out of the count. Ooh, but the big dragon lash right into the reversal. This is unfortunate for him. Gets punished with a big uh, level one. Dragon Lash, and this time around, Kinshiro is actually exhausted. This is the worst case scenario for him. Has to hold it. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad for Kinshiro. He is going. Oh no, in the ground! Oh lord, and just like this, man. It's reverse situation. Nice parries right there from the show. Goes for the Dean right. Oh, nice takes from Kinshiro. A little bit too far for, for the Dragon Lash this time around. Nice grab. Here we go with the overheads. Eye of Sauron is there. Nice check, man. From Zesho managed to also punish the reversal. And we're going on to the last round of the last match, man. First freaking match of today. And it's already clutch as hell. Nice grabs from Zesho. Tried to go for another grab, but got checked by Kenshiro this time around. Oh, Lord. And the shimmy, the aerial shimmy, if I might say. Okay, here we go with the checks. Yeah, Zesho is probably going to pop that DI anytime soon. Yeah, <laughs> I told, I called it, I called it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Kenshiro is in a pretty bad spot right there. He doesn't have that much of a life deficit, but he's definitely not in the best uh, position. Okay, nice, uh, nice checks right there from Kenshiro and the freaking parry on the Eye of Sauron also from Zesho. Nice awareness. That being said, uh, Zesho is in, uh, he's in burnout mode. He's in burnout state, so. That being said, he has the third level three. This can go really either way. The person who opens the other one up is up for uh, potentially losing this match. Let's see if. Oh nope! This is Junior Ride. No way to uh, to um to cancel it into the level three. What is gonna happen? We shall see. Damn, he's going down to the wire, man. Neither of them want to be sent in the losers bracket for their first match. The run up grab from Oh, that show he tried to bait the level three, and he got the hit on the DI. And the first match goes to the GBC Fighter. So GBC Fighter is an individual from Singapore as well. Just like his fellow, um, his fellow, uh, damn it. What was the previous name of the match? Uh, Kinshiro. Yeah, just like Kinshiro, also a, uh, individual from Singapore. Both from the same, uh, dojo also, I think. But that being said, look at that, man. RX with the anti is definitely not letting anything go. Nice confirms right there from RX. Who's with the Eye of Sauron, definitely wants to go for the command grab and gets the kill. First match goes to uh, goes to RX, very nicely done. Let's see what is going to happen for the second round. Nice drive rush from C GBC, unfortunately wasn't quite able to uh, get the hit in. Oh, and RX man went very, very, very deep in this one. Ooh, and that freaking parry on the, on the DI, very nicely done. Oryx keeps, oh, his wit about. GBC managed to find an opening, gets the air to air. Ooh, and that air grab from Oryx. Good Lord. Okay, GBC trying to close the gap. It's not that an easy feat, especially if you're playing against, uh, well, against JP, it's probably the hardest thing to do in the game currently to close the gap. But that being said, here we go. Yeah, GBC currently in exhaust state in burnout mode. And is unfortunately going to get hit by the ghost. First match, first, uh, yeah, first match goes to Ari. Very nicely done. Yo, Gatsan, how are you doing? And here we go back to the zoning game. Rx does not want to let GBC approach whatsoever. Très bien, Gats. Ça va bien. Et du coup, here we go with Rx, man, just running a freaking. Oh! Oh, uh, her train right there on GBC takes it with a perfect. Ça va, ça, ça fait plaisir. Bon, alors, t'as regardé le, euh, la Bruxelles Cup, là Celle où il y a Kane qui a gagné avec son, son Ken, justement. C'est assez ouf, hein, il a vraiment très, très bien joué. Anyways, here we go with the DI. RX trying to get some leeway. Pushes GBC a little bit far in order to try to uh, start his uh, start his game plan. Again with the DI. Oui, j'ai bien regardé. Ah, c'était ouf. Hein. J'ai vraiment, vraiment bien qu'il y, y a des très, très beaux combats. Et même Akainu, il a super bien joué. Il a réussi à reset le, en, grande, en grande finale. C'est assez ouf. Ouais. J'ai vraiment beaucoup, beaucoup aimé aussi. Okay, anyways, here we go. In to the corner you go, says RX2 GBC. And here we go. The jump out from GBC goes straight into the level one. 
Gets some pretty decent damage. Goes for the 2 MP, 2 MP, 2 MP, and oh, managed to get RX in exhausted. Stayed actually very nicely done. Oh no, and he just let it rip. Unfortunately for him, ARX had full bar, so that basically spelled death for him. Second match goes to RX. Here we go, potential with the final match. Non, c'est pas lui, c'est pas lui. C'est un autre RX, lui. Lui, c'est euh, RX de Guilty Gear, celui-là qui est en stream. C'est un, un joueur qui a commencé à Guilty Gear qui joue très très bien. Mais le RX de Third Strike, il... je crois pas qu'il joue à Street Fighter 6. Mais c'est pas celui-là, c'est sûr, c'est pas lui. C'est sûr de sûr. Mais ça aurait été cool, hein, t'as vu J'espère qu que le Arex de Third Strike va jouer à Street Fighter 6 et qu'il va finir par jouer contre ce Arex. Ça serait ça sera assez marrant. Ouais. Parce que les deux jouent super bien, donc... Euh... Mais bon, ceci est étendu. Ah, here we go, the Eye of Sauron. Et la déception, ouais. Hein. Ah, ouais, tu m'étonnes. Bah, ouais, c'est une légende, hein, ce Arex. Le, le Arex qui est là maintenant en train de jouer, c'est pas le même calibre de légende, on va dire, mais il joue très très bien. Là, sur... Euh, sur euh, Guilty Gear Strive, il, il, a, il a vraiment des... Il a, il a un testament de ouf, il joue super bien avec. Et enfin, ça sera du bien sur le GP, du coup, le JP qui joue. Hi in French, yo! <rire> How are you doing, John? Not gonna know. Are you doing good? <rire> Anyways, here we go with the sweep from RX, trying to find his way out of the corner and manages to do so, actually. Here we go with the Eye of Sauron into the TP. And here we go with Combo Station. Not enough to get the level 3, almost got the kill there. He got the Eye of Sauron into the, drag the drive rush for the kill. RX with the sick confirmed. So, A25 Kivat versus Suzura. So, Kivat, a national from Brunei. Very strong. Uh, why there is a picture of my wife at your right? Ah, oh, this is my wife, it's not your wife. <laughs> Cammy is my wife. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Can French, exactly. Oh, you went to zero to. Ah, damn it. Yeah, too bad. New hope. There are a lot of very strong players in the Brojo Cup, I'm really not gonna lie. Very strong ones, especially the Brunei uh, players, they're super strong. And also there's a Russian individual called Roxas, and he rocks asses, literally. He's very, very freaking strong. Uh, he has a six Zangief. He actually managed to win one of the uh, past uh, version of the Brojo Cup, so very strong ones. And as you can see, like even the Brunei uh, players are very strong as well. They're all part of like a, um, a club, the Kov Brunei uh, club, the Street Fighter 6 club. Very, very strong guys. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the DI from Tuzura. Got some pretty nice damage in the corner. Goes for the safe jump. Ooh, and the DI from Kibot says, no, 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 sir, you're going in the corner. But yeah, Tuzura said, no, <laughs> no, I screw that. I'm not going in the corner. You stay there. Very nice entire right there from Tuzura. Goes for the uh, air slasher. Nice confirm from Kibot. Uh, tried to go for the grab. And I think that Tuzura tried to wake up with the DP. Oh, nice confirmer right there from Kivat. Is he gonna go into the CA? I think he might. Yes, he does. And here we go. It's headphone times. Yeah, Kivat definitely wanting to go for the added buff from the level three. And he's got the CA also, so this is gonna do max damage. Also, no key. And he's got the opening and goes for the overhead for the kill. First match goes to Kivat. Very nicely done. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see what Suzura is gonna do. Suzura, no. Stranger to very, very um, uh, tight situation, very, very uh, stressful situation. Let's see how this pans out. And oh no, that was a whiff DP and nice punish from Kibat gets the corner carry. Goes for the overhead. And here we go, the perfect pair from Tuzura gets the grab to put Kibat in the corner. Here we go with the knee drop, he's got the grab. And goes straight for the DI, but Kibat was ready with a counter DI of his own. Goes for the- No! He dropped the side switch, unfortunately for him. I uh, commend the attempt though, that was pretty- uh, That would have been pretty sick if he actually managed to pull it off. That being said, we go with the throw loops. And Kivat in the interruption, but Suzura, he mistimed his DP and unfortunately... Yeah, I had to endure a pretty big- Oh no! Here you go, DI! Nice box from Kivat. And here we go, the Dragon Rush, it's not the Dragon Rush, it's the Drive Rush from Suzura. Again with the Drive Rush, once the grab for the kill. And Tuzura gets the first round of the second match. Let's see what Kivat is gonna do. Again with the drive rush, man. Kivat not checking these uh, drive rush, unfortunately. Gets punished right there from a raw Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku, man. Anyways, oh, and straight into the level 3. Kivat wants that buff, which I remind everybody um, is permanent. It stays from one round to the other, so even if uh he well 
well, he is definitely gonna have to uh, win this round if he wants to keep the, the buff though. But that being said, we go the air slasher. Siva trying to close the gap, tries to find the opening. Oh lord, and the knee drop for the opening. Oh, that was an unfortunately DI. And Kivat gonna get the corner carry. Is it gonna be enough to kill? No! No, but still, he got the walk under for the kill. Good stuff from Kivat, not out of this yet. So, let's see if uh, Tsuzura is gonna be able to close and seal the deal, or if Kivat is gonna make a comeback. Oh, and you're gonna grab, unfortunately for you. Tsuzura got the jump in, gets the slight side switch as well. Goes for the DI, finds the opening. Here we go with the juggle. Here, boom, hey, 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 safe jump for you, sir. Oh, and the DI, but this time around, Tsuzura was aware of it and went for a counter DI of his own. This is gonna do a lot of damage. I think it might kill, actually. Is this gonna kill? It's probably gonna kill. I'm pretty sure it is. The damage output of DJ is out of this world, so it's probably gonna kill. And it's not, actually, I lied. James Chen, please. James Chen, please forgive me, but it's fine. Tsuzura managed still to seal the deal. Gets one match of his own. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this is going to pan out. I think... Okay, okay we're going straight into the rematch. And here we go, the air slash. Kivat running straight into them. Managed to block the DI, though. Ooh, here we go, the TP. Oh, and that pesky drive rush, man. It's been doing a number on Kivat. Kivat definitely needs to check them a little bit more. But Kivat with a drive rush of his own. Goes for the jump in. Gets the grab. Here we go, drive rush, but the Akivat was just out of range. Unfortunately, he gets just grabbed by himself and put into the corner. And a big DI in your face, says Suzura. Oh, he drops the, the juggle, unfortunately. A little bit too far from the um, the corner, I guess. And Kiva takes this opportunity to put Suzura in the corner. Nice take from Suzura. Oh, gets the grab off of the drive rush, goes straight into the DI, and... Level 2, is it gonna be enough? I don't think so. I, I actually don't know. Oh, it does! And level 2 does a lot of damage, bro. Holy freaking lord. That was crazy good. Good stuff from Suzura, man. It's just to take the lead this time around. At least one match in one round. So a very short lead. Uh, lead. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this is going to go. Keep up with the grab. Nice tick pressure in the corner. Gets the juggle. Goes for the bomb. Oh, the bomb set up, gets the juggle again, and safe jump, and Tsuzula looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Kivat should be able to seal the deal with the level- oh, level 3, right away, okay. I don't know if I agree with this, but uh, Kivat knows better, I'm pretty sure. He will benefit from the uh, the damage buff from the level 3, that is, so he's definitely not lost, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it's fine, it's fine. Let's see if Kivat ha uh, made the correct call or not, we shall see. Here we go, the, ooh, the tick pressure. Kivat finds the opening. Goes for the overhead. Nice blocks from Tsuzura, though. Oh, and that freaking bag that's not to get thrown was a pretty good from Kivat. Kivat with the grab, gets the corner positioning. No punish on the on the slide, though. And here we go, the grab again, man. It's been back and forth, man. <laughs> Grabbing each other, putting each other in the corner, man. There's been, like, three or four, like, exchanges of them just grabbing themselves and putting the other one in the corner. It was pretty funny. And there we go, the tick pressure from Tsuzula. Oh, yeah, this time around he wanted to bait that DI, man. He wanted to bait it so much. But yeah, Kivat remembered uh, what happened the last time he did this. He ate a counter DI right in the face. No punish on the sweep yet again. Got to sweep the slide. And Tsuzula this time around, knowing that Kivat is going to respect his pressure, uh, goes for the follow-up of his, um, his feint, I guess you can call it. And uh, manages to find the opening and takes the lead 2-1. to one. Good stuff from Tsuzura. Let's see what Kivat is going to be able to do. We shall see. <clears throat> Good lord. Here we go. <clears throat> and... There we go with the anti-air from... Tsuzura very nicely done. Goes for the sweep. Gets the DI. A very nice entire from Tsuzura. And... Nice take pressure from Tsuzura. Ooh, went for a pretty nice shimmy. Goes for the DI, finds the opening. Gets the juggle, and this should do. Level 1 for the kill. Good stuff from uh, Tsuzura, who is currently on set point, by the way. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, good lord. Air slasher, indeed. 
And the DI for the punish from Kivat. Ah, uh, Kivat goes for the overhead, gets the grab right off of a punish counter, by the way. From the uh, the parry attempt from Tuzura. Here we go, the juggle. Let me check real quick the, the brackets, guys, if you don't mind. Just to be sure that everything is going fine. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Anyways, here we go with uh, the Shimia Temper there from Tsuzura. Wants that knockdown so bad. And just the entire. That was pretty nice reflexes right there from Tsuzura. Air Slasher, Air Slasher, and both go for the Drive Rush, unfortunately, for uh, Kivat. Tsuzura prevails. Wow. Now tries to go for the sweep, but yeah. Kivat's defense is just too strong. And both are currently exhausted, man. It's time to chip. It's time to ship. Uh, Kivat. Oh, and Kivat with a jump. And no, he could have gotten it. Yo, oh, but he gets the kill with the sweep. Nice clutch win right there from Kivat. Definitely not out of this yet. Manages to uh, win by uh, also keeping. Oh, Lord. And the punish on the DI. So far, but so close. So close, but so far. Kivat straight into the level three. This is going to do a lot of damage, bro. He's going to benefit from a damage buff as well. What is Suzura gonna do? Gets hit by the drive rush into the juggle. Uh, Kivat going for the bomb setup and gets the kill with the Izuna drop into the bounce. For the kill, good stuff from Kivat, man. Two to two. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen, man. The second time in the second half. <laughs> is it gonna go up until to the wire? We shall see. Okay, here we go with the bounce. Uh, Kivat gets the grab. Very nicely done. Goes for the drive rush. Gets the juggle. Into the bomb setup. Ooh, he's got the shimmy right there into the bomb setup. Goes again into a bomb and shakes with the jab into the Izuna drop for the kill and the perfect at that. Good lord. Kivat definitely on point. What is Tuzura gonna do? What are you gonna do, bro? Anyways, uh, yeah, Tsuzura getting a little bit angsty, goes straight for the drive rush, wants to find the opening, finds it, drive rush again, you're in the corner, he fakes it out with a grab, goes for the overhead, and the, yeah, the counter, the FM key, at last second, and you're with the juggle, you're going in the corner, sir, I didn't even know she had that, it's like a gate, uh, it's like guy, I'm sorry, <laughs> like guy from... <laughs> I said something that it's like guy from uh from Street Fighter 4 and also his mentor what's his name is the the I forgot his freaking name in Street Fighter 5 the ah oh, damn it I forgot his name anyways you know what I'm talking about Zeku 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 yeah here you go yeah Zeku yeah thanks Eon <laughs> like Zeku as well who can also use a grab to change the I think he could as well, right? He had like a combo that ended with a grab that could side switch, if I'm correct. I, I don't remember Street Fighter 5 that much, to be honest. I know that Guy had it. I'm not quite sure if Zeku had it, though. But anyways, that being said, um, uh, what's her name again? Kimberly has it, so it's pretty useful if you want to side switch. And it's the first time I actually see it, so yeah. Anyways, here we go with the juggle from Kivat. Oh, he went for the fake out from the bomb. Or maybe he didn't have any bomb. He does have one ye right now, though. Oh, and the so and the grab and Kibot sends to the line the loses bracket. Man. America versus Japan, master versus master. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out, guys. Zeku guy Kimberly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Zeku is the yeah he's the Shishio. He's the what's it called? Zeku is the master of guy. Yeah, but I was talking about whether or not uh, Zeku had the. Uh, combo into the back throw that guy and kimberly had that's all i wanted to really know yeah i'm aware that he's the the grand master of both guy and uh and uh and kimberly well yeah but i just uh well actually uh, zeku the master of guy who's the master of kimberly yeah but i just wanted to know if um if zeku in street fighter 5 he had the uh combo into the back throw uh, basically because kimberly has it so i just and guy also has it so i suspect he has it as well I think he did. I have PTSD. Yeah, me too, man. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I don't like Street Fighter V. I don't... I try to forget as much thing about the game as possible, so... I honestly don't remember if Zeku had it or not, but I think he did, yeah. It would make sense that he does. Okay, anyways, that being said, we go with the sweep from SKT. He wants that corner positioning, and he is about to have it. Let's see how this pans out. Let me monitor the audio very quick, and... 
Nice second round for SKT manages to take it. One round apiece. Who is going to take uh, the first match? And uh, the DI, unfortunately, a little bit too late right there to punish Feed the Head. The Feed the Head who could have uh, countered DI with his own, but uh, unfortunately didn't really quite react to it, but it's fine. Here we go with the jump in, but SKT with the entire definitely on point. Oh, and that 4HK into the dry brush, into the DP for the punish. And the follow, wow, raw DP, man, SKT not afraid. But them checks from Feed the Head knowing that SKT was going to try to bait a tech. Feed the Head goes straight into the level 3. Not going to be the CA though, but still is going to do some pretty nice damage. Ew, here we go. The both opponents are relatively, the, yeah, well, not anymore. <laughs> At the same amount of health, but it's not the case anymore. And unfortunately for SKTs, get scooped by the overhead ghost. And Feed the Head manages to take the lead 1-0. to zero. Let's see if SKT is going to be able to bring it back. It's definitely not over till it's over. Good lord. Okay, SKT trying to close the gap. But yeah, Feed the Head definitely on point does not want him to come any close to him at all. Good lord. Here we go, the juggle. You are in the corner, sir. He the head drops the juggle, unfortunately. This is unfortunate for him. He gets uh, actually cornered. He dead, probably wary of the DI. Definitely does not want to get hit by this. Very nice air to air right there from SKT with the jumping MP into the Tatsu. Here we go with the throw loops. Oh, and the bait on the reversal. This is going to do a lot of damage. Good stuff from SKT. Again, the bait on the reversal, man. SKT with the number of feet the head. Not going to lie. That was pretty sick. Good punish, good uh, reads from SKT, definitely not gonna lie. And here we go with, oh, the timed overhead, a little bit too late though. I'm pretty sure it does connect with uh, the follow-up if you time it midi correctly. But it's fine, SKT, here we go with the corner pressure, man. Definitely not dropping anything. Look at this pressure and this, no, he drops it. He drops it and he goes for the DI, but Feed the Head was aware of it. Good punish from Feed the Head, goes for the level two. Uh, let me check real quick. Somebody send me a message on Tonamel. I want to be sure that everything is fine. Uh, huh? Oh, and here we go. SKT definitely not... Not out of it. Puts one on the board. Yeah, sorry guys, I, I received a message, so... I'm just responding to it real quick. I'll be right back to you. I have a new message uh, right now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good, guys. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Okay, and here we go with the teleportation from Feed the Head. But SKT was definitely aware of it. Did not uh, let Feed the Head find the opening with it. Oh, and unfortunately for SKT, is currently... Oh, no. Not the reverse, though. This is probably the worst case scenario that SKT could face right now. He is currently exhausted in the corner. And he led the super rip to get out of pressure. But still, okay. Yeah, very nice entire for SKT. This dude is definitely on point, not gonna lie. Takes the lead one match to one round. Okay, and on to the second round of this third match. Nice juggles from SKT and nice corner carry. Tries to bait the reversal again. Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, footsie battle right there. SKT definitely does not want Feed the Head to get out of the corner. Nice jump in. A little bit too far for the grab, though. I have Siren is out. I have Siren is out again. Careful with... Oh, okay. Nice pressure from SKT. Managed to get rid of I of Siren. Got the shimmy. Aerial shimmy. This should be able... Yeah, this should be enough. SKT takes the lead. Two to one. What is Feed the Head gonna do? What is he gonna do? Feed the head, Chown. What are you gonna do? Let's see how this pans out. Ah, feed the head probably, yeah, trying to ponder right now. What should I do? Oh. Uh, okay. This one. Oh, is it over? Wait, wait, wait. Damn, is it over? Wait, did I miscalculate? I might have miscalculated, did I? Oh, no, I didn't, right? Yeah, I didn't. Feed the head, like, he. Okay, okay. I thought I had miscalculated, but I did not. <laughs> yeah, pseudo one, right? So just waiting for Feed the Head to come back. Probably he wanted to go back to the to the, uh, to the lobby just to vent out a bit and, you know, to put some time before restarting right away and 
Yeah, trying to gather himself. Ah, you want to change character? Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, ah, that's unfortunate. Ah. Ah, uh, yeah, well, unfortunately, yeah. If you did, wanted to change characters, but. I unfortunately didn't do it. And, uh, yeah, SKT is currently in the lead. <laughs> it's unfortunate for him. But that, wow, with the perfect KO2. Ah, that must be, oh, so freaking soul crushing for Feed the Head. Uh, this is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Here we go, the jumping from SKT. That being said, Feed the Head did get the. Oh, Lord! Nice reversal. Okay, SKT got. No, the Dragon Lash! He was. Oh, I don't know if the whiff of the grab attempt was intentional from SKT, but it definitely worked in his favor. Ah, he's got the DI and the wall splat. Okay, if you did, finally, I managed to get some leeway. Goes for the TP to try. Oh, okay. Time for pain. Here we go with the juggles. I have Saron is out. Oh, no, and the drive rush, though. And SKT already in the corner yet again gets hit by the command grab though, and this is very bad for SKT. Ah uh, yeah, this is gonna be death right there. Good stuff, definitely overkill though, but it's fine. Might as well be sure. And on to the next battle. Oh, here we go with. Oh no. Okay, SKT back in business. Oh, gets hit by the J Blade though. Nice TP from. Feed the head. Man, I should not get hit by the jump in. And back to the neutral. This is the range that uh, Feed the head and uh, JP players like the most. Unfortunately, like getting jumped on. We go with the corner carry. Oh, SKT with the setups. Oh, that punish though. SKT so on point with the air to airs, man. He's not letting anything go. Oh, oh no. The side switch. Nice sweep right there from SKT. Ah, uh, goes for the drive rush for extended pressure. He does have level 3, though. This is looking pretty bad for Fidad. If he gets open, it's going to be over for him. Level 3 right in the sack. Nice blocks. Ooh, is this going to hit? No, it's not. Okay, here we go with... Ah, oh, nice grab, yeah. It's pretty tricky. Oh, no, the command grab. Nice stuff from Fidad. Head. He's in the... Oh, no punish on the Tatsumaki, no. Why? Ah, level 3. No, no level 3 for Feed the Head. Okay, he goes for the TP. Gets the jump in. This is the time to... No, he dropped the combo. Not like this. Not like this. And he's... Oh, he was burned out. This is so unfortunate for Feed the Head. He is sent in the loser's bracket. 3 to 1. Yes. Kibot from Brunei. Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> Both players super strong. This is going to be a pretty hype match. Not going to lie. But guys, I need to go drink some water. I'll be right back. Smoib! Smoib with the raise! Thank you again, bro! Thank you always! <laughs> I went straight to go get like a cup of uh, uh, a cup of water. I didn't see a raid, so sorry. But anyways, thanks as always, Smoib. It's always a pleasure to have you here and your community as well. I hope you had a wonderful stream, by the way. And welcome to your community! As always, guys! Ghost Chiller, how you doing, bro? Thank you very much, Smoib! Anyways! Here we on. This is the first match of the semifinals, actually. So we just entered top eight right now, top eight territory, and it is none other than Roxas uh, from Russia against Kivat from Brunei. Definitely looking forward to this. Got to support hardworking teams. Ah, much appreciated, Smoy. Really, really much appreciated. I suppose you're gonna go to work right now. If that's the case, good luck at work and. Uh, Definitely, uh, thanks again for the raid, man. Much appreciated. I've been pretty good, Ghost Chiller. I'm always doing good. And we're playing your favorite game right now. I hope you're happy this time around. <laughs> you probably weren't too happy last time when we were uh, playing Guilty Gear Strive, Ghost Chiller. You, you seemed like you preferred uh, me streaming uh, Street Fighter 6 tournaments. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna chill. Gonna shower and uh, rock for the rest of the day. No problem. Well, chill, bro. Hope you have a very nice chill session. And uh, thank you again, as always. 
Oh, Lord, and here we go with the jump in from Kivadi. He's got the corner positioning, goes for the pressure. Oh, and Roxas and that drive rush combo to get out of pressure. But that being said, he is in exhaust. He's exhausted right now. He's completely burned out. What is he going to do? Roxas in the corner. Oh, and that is higher, though. Nice stuff from Kivad, though. Still not out. He's got the... Uh, he's got the... And the, oh, and the elbow drop for the kill. Kiva takes the first match. Very, very nicely done. Can I fight or do I need... I need to enter beforehand, man. It's it's too late. The registration is already uh, finished, unfortunately. Yeah, sorry, bro. You need to check my Twitter posts for the uh, tournament registration pa pa page. Sorry. And it's it's already uh, over. Right now, we, are, we have already started the tournament. That being said, here we go with... The DI and Kivat not reacting to it. Unfortunately, got scoop right there. Gets hit by the headbutt. And he gets his DI scoop by the pile driver. Good stuff from Roxas. Takes the quick. Take the, the first round of the second match extremely quickly. Definitely does not want to. Oh no! To be sent to the loser's racket. Unfortunate. Uh, how do you call it? The, the, um, I forgot this name. Yeah. Um, ah, that is good. I I'll remember it. I forgot how you call this attack. Anyways, his spinning, his spinning attack, uh, the... Ah, uh, damn it. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, we're going to go with the corner pressure from Kiva. The Lariat, the Lariat, yes. Thank you very much, Jack Still, I forgot. I forgot what to call it. Again, speaking of which, Roxette with the Lariat right there. Very nicely done. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> I I keep forgetting the name of this movement and of most of the moves of the game, unfortunately. But thank you very much for, for the heads up, yeah. And here we go with the armor. Roxas in the corner currently, yeah, having a hard time having, dealing against uh, Kivad right now, unfortunately, lets the level 2 rip and gets punished for it. Good stuff from Kivad, takes the second round. Oh, they definitely will be correcting me, and I can guarantee you it's not the first nor the last time it's going to happen. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for it, too. Anyways, here we go uh, with the... Oh, no, it's not. Uh, cool dude, man. You need to put a YouTube link. Not a Google link. YouTube. A YouTube link to uh, a song, and then you can use the feature. I'm gonna refund you your points. <clears throat> uh, let me check. I'm gonna refund your point real quick. Uh, some requests. And reject. Let me check what you wanted to hear, to listen. Seven Nation Army? Yeah, guy. Uh... Uh, if possible, please refrain from putting a copyright song. So mainly just uh, video game songs, please. Because yeah, then the the if if you put like copyrighted song, then um, then uh, what's it called? Then the movie is gonna be flagged and uh, it's gonna be muted. So please do not put any copyrighted song in the in the song request uh, feature. Only video game song, please. And preferably fighting games, but you can put any video game song. It's fine. But please no uh, like. You know, uh, very commercial songs like, you know, uh, Michael Jackson, whatnot. It's fine, it's fine. You couldn't know, you couldn't know. But uh, anyways, here we go with Kivat, currently with the uh, with the, the lead, actually. Oh, almost got hit by the armored punch right there. That's unfortunate. And here we go with uh, the drive rush. Roxas again with the uh, armored punch. Uh, tries to go for jump in, but yeah, man. Ah, the, the Kivad is being so nimble. Very, very hard to pin down. Very nice side switch combo right there from Roxas. Got the DI. Gonna get the... Uh, what's it called? The, um, the, 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 the... The Dizzy State. Into the bear grab for the kill. Very nicely done. And Kivat. Yeah, Kivat still in the lead. Has 2-2-0 two, two, right now. So let's see how this pins out. Very nice entire. Very nice Lariat from Roxas. Get the entire. And again, Kivat, yeah, trying to make his way out, but gets hit by the DI. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Good lord. Here we go with the drive rush. Here we go with the jump in. Roxas with the DI, and this is gonna kill. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. Wow. What a combo. He did have the level 3, though. Maybe he cannot do it in a combo just like Street Fighter 5, I guess. Well, uh, just like Street Fighter 4, actually. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I don't think. Um, I don't think Zangief can. Oh, lord. That TP though, and the jab for the kill. Roxas puts one on the board. Finally, not out of it yet. He is two uh, down, uh, down one though, so he needs 
Yeah, two more matches if he wants to uh, survive this set and makes his way to the winner's final. So let's see how this pans out. And unfortunately for Kivat, he got headbutted. He found his way out of the corner though, thanks to, this, uh, to the uh, to the uh, cross-up. Okay, the bomb set up. Uh, and again, the take pressure, man. Roxas has a lot of problems trying to deal with it, not gonna lie. Perfect, this is very nice. This is good, this is good. And... Oh no, sir! Roxas on point with the uh, the text right there. Didn't punish the TP though. Oh, nice grab from Kivot, man! This man knows no fear. Here we go, the jump in. Oh man, the Lariat! It doesn't have any hitbox behind Zangief, unfortunately. Unlike Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5. Oh, Lord, Kivat knowing, knowing that Roxas was gonna go for the... For the um, the command grab and nice level one from Kivat should be no not enough to seal the deal. Yeah, Roxas having a lot of problems dealing with the ah the speed of this character gets the pile driver though. Oh, I tried to go for the the bear grab, but no, Kivat was on point, knew that it was coming. I tried to go for the grab, but yeah, Roxas jumps out of it. Oh, and the overhead for the kill. Very nicely done by Kivat. Kivat is on match point, about to send one of the runner-up for uh, one of the favorite, actually, of today's tournament to the loser's bracket. Is he going to be able to do so? We shall see. Nice. Uh, nice confirm. Oh, Lord. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. Nice 2M. 2MK. And here we go, the TP. Oh, at the level 3, just let it rip. I'm gonna spin your ass! Look at this! Here we go! Super pile driver by Roxas. Have a pretty he managed to get a pretty nice life leap thanks to it. Thank you very much for the follow, killer sweep and killer sheep, I'm sorry. And welcome to the bro Joe. Anyway, there we go, the, the the Lariat for the kill! Roxas not out of this yet. We are at set point though. He is on the verge of getting sent to the loser's bracket. He definitely needs to win this one if he wants to stay in it. Nice grab from Kivat. Uh, oh no, trying to go for the grab, but Roxas, knowing that he was going to go for it, went straight for a cross-up and punished adequately. But here we go with Kivat and the grab. Uh, careful there. Level 3. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to kill by any means. Good lord. The music goes very well with this path, by the way. Anyway, here we go with the dragon. Not the dragon rush. The drive rush. Oh. Roxas punishing the TP attempt. So close, but so far. But this is going to be death, man. Oh, oh, the jump out, though. The jump out was sick. No, not like this. And unfortunately, by Roxas, he is sent to the loser versus Japan. Ken versus JP. Let's see how this pans out. This is the second JP SKT has had to fight today. <laughs> Let's see if uh, his character knowledge and character acquaintance is going to serve him well especially against a player as strong as rx we shall see okay and that being said eh, rx unfortunately is already in the corner but yeah rx is definitely no stranger of finding his way out of the corner tried to go for a drive rush to get possibly a juggle i guess anyways oh no very nice reversal managed to get the side switch oh Okay, nice checks from Oryx. Even though he was in the corner for so long too, he currently has the health uh, the health uh, lead. And he manages to get the kill with the overhead. Very nicely done by Oryx, takes the first match. Let's see how this spins out for the second one. And SKT with the confirms, gets the corner pressure. Ooh, unfortunately corners himself, but gets the sweep. Manages to get out of the corner thanks to it. Okay, we go with the reversals. Ah, an RX man with the TP. That was so tricky. I, I wonder how SKT managed to block this one. Good stuff. Anyways, we're going to jump in. Ah, RX with the fake out. Managed to get the entire just in time. And it's back to zoning mode. RX definitely does not want to have SKT close whatsoever. Nice. Freaking punish into the level 3. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, boom. Good stuff from RX. Oh, and it's chip time. Yeah, this is going to kill. Very nicely done. Oryx takes the first match. Quite convincingly, not going to lie. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, let's see how this spins out. On to the second battle. 
Let's see if SKT manages to shift the tide of battle and bring it back. We shall see. Oh, Lord, the driver straight into RX's face. And <laughs> you can see SKT trying to go for the shimmy, but RX being very, very patient does not want to commit to it. And gets hit by the Gene Lai. Oh, SKT went deep on that one. First, a little bit too deep. Couldn't quite get the grab on this one. And the Eye of Sauron just looking at SKT from far away. Two Eyes of Sauron now. And one of the Eye making way for RX teleportation. Okay, RX in a pretty nice, comfortable lead. Not going to lie. Nice hit. Nice standing as from RX gets the first round of this second match. With the definite lead right now. Oh, Lord. Nice checks right there. RX again with the... 2HS, man. The entire very nicely done gets the grab. It is ghost time. Yeah. And the fake out. Oh, and the punish on the sweep, though. Okay, SKT making good use of the parry right there to try to contain every single attack from the ghosts. Ah, uh, and here we go with the grab. SKT definitely needs to get, keep this corner positioning. Ah, uh, RX with the TP again, man. Nice confirms from uh, SKT. That being said, he is in burned out mode. Gonna use the level 3 in order to uh, save time as much as possible, to make time pass as much as possible uh, in while he is in exhausted state. Ah, uh, no, firstly gets hit by the 2 MP straight into the level 3. And just like this, SKT, uh, RX is going to take the second match as well. Very nicely done. RX man with the lead 2 to 0. What is SKT gonna do? We shall see. Get on to the next battle. Here we go with the fake out. RX probably trying to bait a jump in. Gets driven, rushed, and grabbed right away. Nice, nice blocks on the overhead though from SKT. Fortunately for him, he is cornered right now. Gets hit by the 2 HS. Uh, the 2 HS, the 2 HP. <laughs> We're not playing guilty here. And here we go with the juggle. RX tried to go for a grab, but unfortunately, man. Unfortunately, SKT knew. And press buttons on. And here we go with the block sweep. And the side switch with the grab. RX in a pretty nice position. Comfortable lead. He has a lot of uh, drive uh, gauge as well. Here we go with the dragon slash. The dragon lash, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord, no punish right there. Uh, no punish possible. Probably too far anyways to do so. Here we go, the TP into the grab. RX on set point. What is SKT going to do? A commanding 3-0. to zero. It's about to be gone. Okay, no entire right there from SKT. Okay, RX definitely looking good. Gets the confirm off of the Eye of Sauron. Decides to keep his level 3 probably to really seal the deal, I suppose. And here we go with, man, all of the onslaughts from the ghosts. No, oh, and the confirm into level 3. Yes, level 3 it is. Is, is it going to be enough? It might actually. Yeah, it's going to be enough, I think. I think. Please. Is it? Is it? And it is. RX taking it with a commanding 3 to nail. And oh, somebody from Japan versus Feed the Head from America. Both in Japan currently. Let's see how this pans out. I love this song, by the way. Anyways, on to the next battle. Usuiburi versus JP. Nice air to her from Feed the Head. Does not want Usuiburi anywhere else than on the ground, as you can see. Here we go with the pikes. The uh, I'm going to call it the grave. A nice jump in from Feed the Head. Uh, got the Eye of Sauron, but got hit by uh, Blonka's balls, I guess. And... Uh, yeah, here we go with Usui Booty. Gets the electricity. He's got the corner positioning. Try to go for the slide, but nice blocks from Feed the Head. Nice and tear. Okay, Usui Booty trying to bring the heat. Gets the grab. No. Oh, what is going to happen? Feed the Head in a pretty bad position right there. Gets hit by the grab right after the drive rush. Nice. Oh, no. Confirms right there from Usui Booty, unfortunately. It's still okay. Eye of Sauron uh, looking at Usubiri from high. Gets hit by the uh, command grab and the tick pressure. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, and on to the next round. Very nice reverse into the grab from Usubiri. Okay, good stuff. Here we go. Blanca Ball. Nice use of the grave right there from 
speed the head, gets a hit in. Oh, he's got the jump in. This is going to do a pretty nice amount of damage straight into the level 3. Speed the head, aiming to definitely get this around right here. Let's see how this spins out. Eye of Sauron into the TP. Ah, feed the head with the DI. Usubi not on point. They didn't counter with the DI of his own. What the hell was that? That was sick. Did he TP? That was sick. That was sick. I actually don't know what the hell happened. I think he, he TP'd and while he was TPing, uh, he teleported basically. And while he teleported, I think that Usubi woke up with the X uh, Blanca Ball. And it basically whipped since, uh, well, JP wasn't on the on on the the stage when when um, because he was teleporting. I, I think this is what happened. Uh, but that being said, on to the second match of this set. Ah, nice use of Saron's uh, Saron's Sarun's, uh, eyes. Uh, here we go. The Blanca ball. Usubuti has the corner pressure. Oh Lord, and the shimmy. Good lord, it's the buddy man with the optimization station. Got the bait on the reversal, but couldn't quite confirm. Goes for the DI, but gets counter DI'd by Feed the Head. This is unfortunate for him. Feed the Head straight into the level 2. Gonna go get the side switch. He not only has this one, but also the exhausted state, the burned out state on uh, Usubri and managed to get this uh, first round of the second match. Usubri being a little bit more cautious this time around goes for the Blanca Bowl. Here we go with the rush. Drive rush into the grab. Well, into the hop into the grab. See how this spins out. Nice confirms from Feed the Head again, man. I have Saron. No juggle there, but it's still fine. Nice grab again from Musubiri. Oh, no, he got the bait on the reversal attempt from Feed the Head. Goes for the overhead. Ah, oh, nice jump in right there from Feed the Head. Couldn't quite confirm, though. Ah, uh, no punish right there on the... Uh, the dive ball, this is unfortunately for him, again gets hit by the overhead. I don't know if it's an overhead, it's not really an overhead, but anyways, here we go with the overhead this time around. Before Subudi gets the kill. And this is the final round of this second match. Yeah, get nice, uh, take pressure, nice entire right there from Fidehead. Fidehead definitely on his toes, definitely need to not let Usubri close the gap whatsoever. Oh, Lord, and the Blanca ball gets punished by the IF sound straight into the level one. Ah, oh, no, and the little Blanca is in... Uh, he's burnt out, look at him. Looks like a gorilla. I love how he moves and burnt out. Anyways, yeah, uh, you can see uh, Subudi definitely, definitely bleeding right now. And Blanca just walking like a gorilla. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the jump in. Nice, anti right there from Subudi gets a juggle. Try to go for a grab though, but gets hit by the J-Blade. Just like this, feed the head up to the zero, man. What is Usubiri going to do? What are you going to do, bro? Let's see if Usubiri has a character up his sleeve. He does not. He's sticking with Blanca till the end. And here we go with the overhead. I have Saron into TP. Feed the head with the corner carry. Ah, oh, Lord. Usubiri needs to find something in. Goes again for the drive rush into the grab. Definitely been working for him, this. But yeah, he needs to probably find something a little bit more substantial. Drops the combo there. I think it was a uh, drop combo. Oh, then the sweep, bro. Still, man, feed the head with the entire. This dude, you cannot jump on him. Nice sweep from Usubudi. Gets the punish on the... That was called the, uh, the um, reversal attempt. But gets hit by the command grab. We're going to drive rush into the grab for the kill. Finally, somebody getting something going on for him. Finally. Get on to the second round of this uh, third match. Ah, uh, almost got the juggle, but a little bit too far, though. Here we go again with the drive rush into the hop into the grab. Man, it's been working very good for him. And speaking of Blanca, <laughs> we go with Blanca's theme right now. I don't know if it was intentional, but that is pretty fun. Anyways, here we go with the jump in. Oh, good lord. Nice jump in from uh, Usubudi. Oh, no. Oh, Usubudi gets hit by the level 3 right away, man. Feed the head. Merciless, man. Merciless. And here we go with the explosion of the crystals. Oh, no. Just let it rip. Usubudi definitely wanting to win at least this one to shift the momentum. Almost got jumped on. That was pretty bad for him. Oh no, gets hit by the J-Blade again. What are you gonna do again with the drive rush into the grab attempt, but too far? Oh no, entire. 
No one's error there and gets hit by the overhead. Just like this, man. Feed the head on game point. On set point, actually. You're going to be able to seal the deal. We shall see. Okay. Oh, the, the awareness of this man. Feed the head always ready to press 2 HS. Very nicely done. Ooh, again with the drive rush into the hop into the grab. Nice confirm. Pramusubiri gets the juggle. Again gets hit by the 2 HS. This time around notices that uh, that was going to go for the over it for the what's going oh nice punish using the uh, the dive ball for uh, uh, to punish the um, the the what's called the command grab attempt from again man hey, you can see the, the adapt station station from Usubiri go straight into the level three and this should be able to do it finally Usubiri putting one on the board finally and just like this Usubiri finally puts one on the board one and two. Still needs two more in order to stay in the the well to stay in the tournament actually. So let's see how this pans out. Ah, good stuff from Musubiri. Ah ah ah. Okay, we're good. So two, do one. Four feed the head. Ooh, ah, feed the head with the round start. Grave gets the hit in. Gets the court. Well, gets the uh, the the positioning. And, ooh, wow, that TP though. Okay, Musubiri trying to close the gap. Wow, and that reflex, man. That reversal reflex from Afi Dead gets hit, though. Here we go, the grab. Oh, Lord, and the command grab from Usui Booty, bro. Ah, nice. Yeah, Afi Dead not using the command grab as often as uh, before, probably because he got punished twice with the. Uh, the dive uh, Blanca ball twice in a row, so probably a little bit more cautious this time around. Trying to pin him down with the ghost. Speaking of which, uh, we are currently on set point. So somebody needs to make something happen if he wants to stay alive in this tournament. Get saved by the grave, man. This is looking pretty bad. Wow, feed the head, man, with all of them. Oh, the reads! Nice drive rush into the slide from Usubiri. Tries to make something start. Blocks the grave, blocks the grave. Goes for the drive rush into the the sweep but now this time around feed the head was aware go straight into the level three after the juggle unfortunately for Usuiburi man we go with the eye of sound into the tp and gets hit by the command grab and just like this feed the head <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> on to the next battle Totsura versus the show and here we go with the grab. And Zesho, man. Oh, goes for the freaking DI and Suzuna not ready for it. Nice grab again for, for Zesho, man. Definitely been working pretty good for him. Ah, oh, man. So, oh, and the counter DI, man. Zesho on fire, bro. Takes the first round super convincingly, not gonna lie. This dude is explosive as hell. Very nice 2 HS gets hit by the DI from Tuzurado. Tuzurado with the optimized corner carry combo. Oh, and here we go Ooh, with the DI. Too far. No, not too far. He gets the crush. Oh, and goes for the save jump. Again, with the save jump setup, you should be able to seal the deal though. And he does. Good stuff from Tuzurado. Takes the second round. One round apiece. And on to the next battle. Nice drive rush from uh, Zesho. Finds the opening. It's pretty hard to Probably uh, searching for something. Very nice drive rush from Suzuka straight into the DI. Ah, he tried to bait something. Go straight for the DI right after this. Zesho not ready. Ah, nice DI from Zesho. He wake up with strong. Oh, Lord. Zesho, man, on fire. Gonna go, probably go for level three. No, he dropped it. Zesho dropped it. He dropped it, but still, okay, he's got the advantage. Goes for the Jin Lai. Ah, nice grab from Zesho. Probably gonna go for, for DI. Oh, no, no entire. Ah, uh, here we go with the driver rush. Oh, and the freaking level three to punish the Dragon Lash attempt. Tuzula like gonna steal it right at the end. Good stuff from Tuzula, man. Takes it right at the end. One to zero. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, fetch myself some water. I'll be right back.
And nice juggles from Suzura gets the kill and gets the lead actually. One match with a perfect also. That was actually pretty pretty quick. Gets the DIN. That showed definitely in dire stretch right there. Gonna get corn carried. Wow, and the counter DF from Suzura. He was definitely on point on this one. Okay, we're gonna save jump. Oh no! Uh, this show with the cross under, thankfully for him. Unfortunately, gets grabbed and put right back into the corner. Wow, nice. Oh no! That was a pretty nice parry, not gonna lie. Good stuff from this show. Here we go with the air to air, man. Oh lord, in the drive rush, man! Good stuff from this show. Oh, manages to not get hit by the uh, the wake up DP by Tsuzura. Tsuzura, unfortunately, is gonna put, be put into the burned out mode right now. Down and shut up! <laughs> oh, and the dragon lash for the kill. Good stuff from this show. Definitely not out of this yet. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, okay, here he goes. This show uh, tries to initiate something. Hits the dragon. Uh, the, not the dragon. Or the drive rush out of Tsuzura. Okay, nice out. Okay, nice sweep though. Not gonna lie. Oh, here you go with the gene right. Tsuzura. With the grab, goes for the drive rush. He's got the corner quizzes. Oh yeah, and the counter DI from this show, man. This dude is definitely on point. Gets the, the the side switch. He goes for the grab. Ah, he tried to bait. Yeah, something. Ah, and goes for drive rush into the grab. This show, man, with the cojones, the cojones from this man. Good stuff from this show. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One. Versus one. Okay, and here we go with the drive rush. So this is what I was corner carry. Oh, and the counter DI. Yeah, I think that this show is starting to get a little bit acquainted with Tsuzura's playstyle right now, re relying heavily on the DI. Oh, good lord. And here we go with the Jin Rai. That being said, this show does not have, is currently, uh, in burnt out state, he cannot use the eye anymore. Nice sweep right there from Tsuzura. Gonna get the grab. That being said, Zesho is going to recover from uh, burnt out state uh, quicker than Tsuzura. Nice blocks. Oh no, I tried to go for the DI. Ah, no entire from Zesho. And here we go, the sweep for the kill. Good stuff from uh, Tsuzura. Gets the first round of the second match, or the third match actually. Ooh, almost got the juggle right there off of the X uh, air slash. Oh no! Maximum! Is this your trying to close the gap? He wants that exhausted state. Ah, nice grab from Tsuzura, man. Go straight for the DI yet again. This show not on point. Gets hit by the level 3. Not enough to kill. Yeah, not, not nearly enough to kill. <laughs> Good stuff from Suzura. Gets the life lead a pretty nice one at that. Oh lord, nice block. Again with the blocks, man. This show on point. Oh no, he's got the jump out. He goes for the Gene right, but Suzura was on point using the DP in between the Gene right follow up in order to get the kill. Good stuff from Suzura. Gets the lead 2 to 1. What is this show gonna do? What is he gonna do? Okay, and on with the wall flat yet again. Nice juggles from Tuzura, goes for the safe jump. And again with the punish of the DI with the one of his own. We go the juggle into the safe jump yet again. Tuzura trying to fish, man. Fish for them DIs, gets the freaking dizzy state, and this should do. With a perfect, nevertheless, Suzura with the statement, man. Say, nope, you're not gonna win this one, man. I'm gonna eliminate you. Suzura definitely wanting to stay in the uh, in the tourney. Ah, nice drive rush into the sweep, though. This show with the Gene Rice stack pressure. Oh, Lord, the drive rush, though. Oh, and the shimmy. He's got the drive rush for the follow up into the level three. Not gonna kill, though. Hey, hey, hey. Here you go. 
Damn, man. Good stuff from Tsuzura. Not out of this yet. Into the drive rush. Into the grab for the kill. Good stuff from Tsuzura. Takes it three. But who is going to win this one? We shall see. Zangief versus uh, JP. Yeah, if you ask on paper, I would definitely say that JP has the uh, advantage in this matchup. But we never know. It's not any Zangief we're talking about. We're talking about Roxas Zangief. And Roxas is a freaking monster with Zangief. So, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me that... Uh, but that being said, yeah, so far, it's definitely more or less going into the uh, yeah the, the direction of feed the head. But we'll see, we'll see. You really just need one hit. And seems like Roxas just got his. Oh, goes for the pile driver. He doesn't have any drivers though in order to try to close the gap. Gets hit by the 2 HS. And we go with the jump in, man. Roxas not afraid. I'm not afraid. No, I tried to go for it. A walk up. A walk up spot SPD, but no, no. No. See, the head was aware of it. He went immediately for a jump in and punished his attempt. Good lord. We'll see the very nice sweep right there from Roxas. Tried to go for the tick command throw, but Feed the Head was looking for it. Just jumped out, straight out of it. Unfortunately for him, the uh, what's called the uh, the lariat whiffed yet again, and Feed the Head used this opportunity to heftily punish Roxas with a big level three. Very nice use of the uh, uh, the the, the, um, the lariat this time around. Almost got hit by the DI. That being said, as you can see, Feed the Head is currently in. Exhausted say as well gets hit by the SPD on the recovery of his uh, his reversal again with the SPD man this man and a regular 2 MP for the uh, 2 MK for the kill very nicely done by Roxas uh, puts one round on the board as he demonstrated it is definitely not entirely impossible for him to uh, win as he has demonstrated. Uh, Straight up in the previous uh, the previous round, but for now, yeah, Roxas is content to just block, bind his time to try to find the opening. Goes for the DI. Oh, he's got the jump in. Yeah, if he did a little bit too late for the grab for for the um, yeah for the entire. Ah, uh, you can see yeah, he the head man trying to get that that burnt out stage, and Roxas goes straight for level three. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Good lord, here we go, level three and- Oh no, no Rakshas! You're in empty state! What are you gonna do? No! Feed the head, feed the head with the freaking punish! Ah, uh, that being said, ah, uh, what is gonna happen? Very nice grab, not enough to kill. Oh, and not enough to freaking uh, armor through the um... Uh, the absolute last sequence, well, not armor through, but he didn't have enough health to armor through uh, the hits from Feed the Head, uh, for, to armor through the uh, the J-Blade. That was so unfortunate from Roxas, but it's still okay. Very nice start of the round, straight into a DI, uh, into the uh, SPD. So let's see how this pans out. Oh, and the freaking punish on the reversal of Tempt from Roxas, man. From, from, uh, from Feed the Head. Your Exon Sabion is usually better with two Keyblades, so let's see. We shall see indeed. But for now, yeah, the the advantage is definitely for Feed the Head. But yeah, we'll see. It's not over till it's over. Nice trades. Roxas trying to seal the deal. Goes for the headbutt. In time. Recovers in time, but gets hit by the command grab of Feed the Head. Oh, Feed the Head, man, with the confirms. That confirms. Look at the damage. Damn, that's a lot of freaking damage. Ah, uh, no, Roxas getting hit in all sorts of ways, and this is unfortunate for him. Yep, Feed the Head takes a uh, very legitimate, uh, legitimate lead right now. One match, one round. Franck, il a joué contre Crimson, non? Qui Max? Ah, bah ça c'est, c'est normal. C'est Mister Crimson. That being said, here we go with the jump in from Roxas. Goes for a jump in, gets the grab. Oh no! Very nice checks right there from Feed the Head. Oh! Roxas relying a little bit too much on the ice probably right now. But still okay, he has bars, he has drive. Gets sweep, swept unfortunately. Oh! And Roxas not ready for the DI. 
See what is gonna happen. Here we go, the jump in. Oh! Roxas reading the jump from Feed the Head. What is gonna happen? Ah, here we go, the level two. Yeah, you have to hold it. Wow! <gasps> Roxas just jumping out of the freaking pressure. That was sick. I didn't even know you could do it. Okay, that's cool. That's great to know. Okay, raw level two, you can just jump out of it. <laughs> Oh no, he's not to kill with the he missed time that this is so unfortunate. And Roxas takes it by, by the skin of his teeth. Holy freaking lord. That was so unfortunate. Oh, nice checks from Roxas. Goes for the Oh for the DI. Nice blocks from feed the head. Gonna get the corner carry or at least put some distance. Here we go with the TP from feed the head. Uh, no entire. A little bit too late for it. Already committed to the 2k. 2lk. Nice and speedy from Roxas. Oh. Roxas really trying to. Uh, yeah. To. To get as close as possible to Fiden. Fiden on point with the DI to counter the DI. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go with the level 2. Gets the side switch, he gets the- Oh no, at the level 3! No, not like this, be dead! This is so unfortunate for him, man. Here we go with the CA for the kill. That did a ton of damage, man. Good stuff from Roxas, puts one on the board. Literally steals it at the absolute end of the match. <laughs> Good lord. Roxas is not afraid, bro. He's not afraid at all. Good stuff from Roxas. Let's see how this spins out. Nice whiff punish, not gonna lie. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Roxas blocking all sorts of stuff. Uh. <laughs> Roxas with the comeback on Monster Hunter, by the way. <laughs> anyways, anyways. That was pretty funny. Uh, so, back into the neutral. Feed the head definitely doing a good job of keeping Roxas away. Woo! We're going to jump in. Roxas with the punish with the SPD. Uh, try to go for another grab, probably. There we go. JP with the Eye of Sauron. Oh, no. He gets jumped in on. You hate to see it. That being said, Roxas does not have a lot of, uh, of drive gauge. So, he absolutely needs to be careful. If he blocks too much, he's not going to be able to sustain anything. Uh, nice checks right there, but you know what? Yeah. I oh, no! The DI into the bear grab. It's enough for the kill. Roxas bringing it back on the tone of Monster Hunter, man. He's got the music buff, bro. This is the music buff of Roxas, man. <laughs> okay, nice sweeps from Keep the Head, not going to lie. Let's see how this fans out. One more. <laughs> okay, Roxas really trying to make his way uh, into the next battle. Takes it out again with the DI level three. Here we go. Let's take you for a spin, JP. I'll show you the world on my magic carpet. That is the ground. Oh, good lord. Get done. Roxas again. I sense a DI. I don't know why. DI time. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no. No entire right there. Already committed to something else, so... Oh, no. Okay, and Roxas back to the other side of the of the stage. So has to deal with all of them. All of them. Projectiles. Here we go with the DI. You can see Feed the Head being a lot more cautious this time around. Very nice with punish. They'll go straight into the level 1. No, he drops it! Why? This is the second time, bro. I'm all my chain! <laughs> exactly. Oh no! Not like this! Okay, let's see. And you go for the spinning pile driver! Roxas takes the freaking lead 2 to 1, making the unimaginable imaginable. Damn, man. Roxas, good stuff. Okay, let's see if Feed the Head sticks with this uh, character. He does. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, that was sick, man. That was so sick. Very nice lariat right there from Roxas. I tried to go for the bear grab, but yeah, feed the head with the checks. Did not let him do so. Oh, no. Too far. Oh, no. 
A delayed hit on the delayed hit on the lair. That was so unfortunate for him. That being said, here we go to SPD. Ah, uh, nice. Oh, the punish on the sweep attempt into the X SPD for the kill. That did a ton of damage. Holy freaking lord. But Rox has searched and tried to, to seal the deal as quick as possible. Goes for the extended combo using the drive rush. Oh, and the freaking sick SPD pressure, man. What are you gonna do? Rox is feeling himself. Oh, look at him. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this with the perfect. The perfect for the win. Good lord, that sequence was godlike and Rox has freaking. So crazy. Well played, man. No, hold on, well played. And Izudin, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the bro, Joes. That was so crazy, man. <laughs> oh, and the counter DI right at the start of the match, man. SKT not letting this go back, man. Go through. Good stuff, good stuff, Roxas. Really, wow, that was so sick. That last freaking round was so sick. Oh, <gasps> that was so crazy. Anyways, here we go with the tick pressure. And the juggles. SKT definitely looking good. Get swept though. He's gonna get uh, thrown into the uh, into the uh, the corner. Oh man, that was crazy, man. And here we go with Tuzula in the corner. Tuzula loves DI in the corner, so you need to be careful if you're playing against him. Here we go with the tick throw. Goes for the DI, but as I said, yep, just like I said. But SKT was definitely, he knew that, oh no, he drops the combo. But still, okay, gets the grab for the kill. SKT takes the first round. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, good lord. Ah, nice sweep right there from, well, uh, nice, uh, not sweep. Nice slide, I'm sorry, from uh, Tsuzura. Oh. Here we go with the tech. <laughs> Tsuzura really loves his uh, drive rush. Oh, okay, here we go with the DI. Just enough to get the wall splat and here we go the safe jump and the juggle and this should do good stuff from Tsuzura takes the first the second round of this uh, first map okay, let's see how this spins out no punish on the sweep oh counter DI here we go good stuff from SKT oh okay he goes for a reset this is perfectly fine with the dragon lad very nice perfect parry from Tsuzura Oh no! The jump out from SKT, man, not afraid. Again with the perfect parry. Tsuzu on point with the perfect parries. Goes for the drive rush into the grab. Oh wow, that was punished up. Okay, and here we go, SKT with the side switch. Gonna go for level 3 for the kill. Sit down and shut up! <laughs> Good stuff from Tsuzu that gets the first match pretty convincingly. Definitely uh, notice that Tsuzu absolutely loves to use the di when he's close to the corner and i think that skt definitely picked up on it very very early and that's the reason why he's uh probably focusing allocating a lot of his focus especially on di recognition just to punish suzura as often as possible very nice sweep oh and again man you see you see man he's not letting anything go suzura yeah using a little bit too much of the di i feel he should be a little bit more yeah a little bit uh, more uh uh, privy of uh, not of, of not using it, but uh, again with the DI man and again SKT man. He's been on point. I think he's he's been, he's been countering every single DI that that I did. Get hit by only one of them, I think. Ah, that's crazy. Anyway, that being said, here we go with the Dragon Kai BGM from Dragon Ball Fighters and the jab for the kill by SKT taking a pretty commanding lead right now. One round, one match. See how this pans out. Nice dragon rush. Not dragon, <laughs> drive rush combo from SKT. Yeah, Tsuzura definitely uh, having some problems finding his footing. Not going to like gets hit by the grab. Nice wake up Abare by SKT. Gets the grab. Goes for the dragon lash. Gets the 4 HP. Oh lord, and that free No, he almost got it, but still fine. Nice stick pressure, nice stick throw, uh, not stick throw, nice shimmy from uh, from Tsuzura. Tsuzura gonna go for the DI, I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you. Oh, and the jump in just like this, SKT again with the level 2 this time around for the kill. Takes the lead 2 to 0, what is Tsuzura gonna do? But Tsuzura definitely resorting to using less of the DI because he's recognizing that... 
uh, that uh, SKT has been very, very reactive to it. That's the reason why he's definitely laying a little bit low. And if, uh, again, nice, nice use of the DI. Just when I say this, just when I say this, Tsuzura does a DI, of course, obviously. Ooh, big wake up DP, XDP right there from SKT was so far also, but it's still connected. And here's where we go, the, uh, the safe jump. Uh, no anti right there from uh, SKT. Uh, nice jump out from SKT. Gets hit by the drive rush. It's thrown right back into the corner. Ah, uh, no DI there. This is unfortunate. Again in the corner. Nice, perfect parry from SKT. Uses the side switch to put Suzuran in the corner. No anti. -air. Nice sweep again. Gets the freaking shimmy. Not enough to kill. Oh, no, no, no. He dropped the DP, though. Oh, and the freaking cow, the, the, the confirmed drive rush on the 2MK, and just like this, man, SKT on match point. Let's see how this spins out. Nice sweep on the punish of the slide. It's a very ambiguous uh, <laughs> jump in. I honestly did not believe it was in front. I thought it was going to be a... Uh... Anyways, nice use of the parry. Again, the perfect parry by Tsuzura. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Nice walk under right there from SKT. Managed to get the side switch. Gets the back throw also. I didn't block that jump in for sure. Yeah, I know, right? It was so ambiguous. Oh, and level three. Sit down and shut up. It's not going to be enough to kill, though, I think. Yeah, it's not going to be enough, I think. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Tsuzura, last chance. He needs to make something happen. Oh, wow. That was sick. And unfortunately, gets grabbed. And just like this, SKT, man, takes it a clean 3x. Let's see who is going to take it. Kimberly versus... Uh, JP. Okay, just one second, guys. I need to go take some, uh, drink some water. I'll be right back. Okay, and first round, actually went to Kibat with a perfect, man. That was crazy. I didn't even have time to come back before the round was over. It was crazy. Good stuff from Kibat. That being said, RX is definitely biting back. Goes straight for a uh, DI into the wall splat for added pressure and combo potential. No punish on the DI attempt right there from Kibat. Goes straight into level 3. Not enough to kill, but he is going to benefit from a damage boost. Okay, what is going to happen? Ooh, and that freaking bait from Kivad manages to steal the first. Uh, not steal, but get the first round very convincingly. 1-0 to zero as of now. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, RX definitely... I definitely took the mix as well. Nice counter DI right there from RX. Going to get a nice corner carry. Nice positioning right there. He's got the Eye of Sauron out, of, uh, out on the field. What is he going to do? Here we go, the ghost attack. Nah, I tried to go for an air to air, but got uh, stuffed by the, uh, the the elbow drop from from Kivat. Here we go with Kivat and the grab. Goes for the drive rush. Again with the grab. Okay, nice checks from Rx. Oh, Rx fails to anti air, unfortunately, for him. Okay, here we go, the drive rush, the take pressure. Let's put some distance between him and his opponent. He's got the eye of Saron out. Back to the neutral. Nice teleportation right there from Kivat. And he's got the drive rush combo. Probably going to go for a level 2. No, he drops it. Or was it intentional? I have no idea. And he gets the kill with the elbow drop. Kivat definitely running a train right now. Definitely looking very good today. Nice air to air right there from Kivat. Doesn't get the entire... Okay. Oh, again, man, with the elbow drop. has definitely been catching Rx off guard. Arx resorting to keeping his level 3. Probably oh, and he's got the DI punish on the sweep, the, the, the slide. Probably gonna go for the level... No, he doesn't. He actually drops the combo. And that freaking reaction level 3. He's got the exhausted state. Things are looking pretty good for uh, Arx, not going to lie. Goes for the wake up grab. Gets the juggle off of the eye of Sauron. Ah, and gets the whip punish on the jab. 
from Kivad. Very nicely done by RX, man. The master of this guy. So yeah, th things are looking definitely better right now. He tries to go for a DI punish on the teleportation, but Kivad was on point. Uh, punishes with a DI of his own. Goes straight into the level 3 for not only damage, but the damage buff as well. Let's see how this pans out. There we go with the dragon, the drive rush. TP out. People be jumping a lot right now. <laughs> we go with the IF sound, enabling the teleportation from RX. Gets the drive rush in. Couldn't quite confirm though off of it. Nice checks from Kivat. Gets hit by the air to air though. And gets hit by the DI. Is RX gonna go for level three? Yes, he is. Here we go with the level three. It's not C, unfortunately, for him. And oh, he's looking pretty good. He's got two eyes of Sauron out and gets the juggle off of one of them for the kill. RX puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gents. Let's see how this pans out. Yes, this is plus on block. Uh, nice checks on the dragon and the drive rush. And nice confirms as well. RX looking pretty good. Gonna punish that sweep as well. The, the, the slide, I'm sorry. The Eye of Sauron is out, RX teleports, tries to close the gap between him and his opponent, but still keep his distance so that he can continue imposing. Oh no, that was an unfortunate, uh, that's my Simpukek right there. Oh no, punish on the DI, RX already committed to another move at that point, unfortunately for him. Oh, nice punish right there, and you should be able to seal the deal with the ghosts. Very nicely done by RX, takes this. Uh, first round of this third match. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, nice grab from Kivat. Gonna go for the drive rush. Gets the punish on the reversal attempt from RX. What is it called? Nightmare or something? I forgot the name of this uh, this attack. The reversal of uh, the reversal of uh, I forgot his name of um, JP. The nightmare something nightmare something. I, I don't remember exactly the name. I keep calling it the reversal, but there's a specific name for it, and I forgot it. <laughs> As I forgot a lot of his, the name of his other special. Anyways, here we go with uh, that that same reversal I was referring to. Okay, here we go with the grave. The ghost is out. The eye of Sauron is out. <laughs> Mind you guys, none of the names of the special I attributed to the special of JP are the actual official names of it. That being said, here we go with RX. Goes for the level two. He wanted that. He wanted that exhausted state, and he just got it. Things are looking pretty good for him. And, oh lord, Arx, man, he does not want to let it go, man. Look at it all, and the freaking slide for the kill. Very nicely done. Nice choice of uh, songs, by the way, Yon. I absolutely love the soundtrack of Final Fantasy 16. If you guys have other, if you guys have other, like, uh, soundtracks from FF FF16 that you want to put, uh, in the in the song, song request, please feel free. I absolutely love the the songs of this game. And good night, Ghost Chiller. Uh, best uh, best of uh, well, sleep well, bro. Thank you very much for coming by. Here we go with the take pressure from Kivat. Uh, got the punish on the reversal attempt. Hopefully, Square Enix is it now. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. They're good. They're good. Square, Square Enix are not. They're not annoying. As long as it's usually a video game, it's not gonna get copyrighted. So you you can go ahead. And uh, as long as it's not like GTA 5 or, you know, songs that have commercial, um, games that have like actual commercial songs in it, it's fine. If it's only video game song, it should be fine. Hmm. That's fine, go ahead. Uh, Exxon, I trust your, I trust your judgment. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whatever you're gonna put, I'm going to like, so it's fine. Okay, and here we go with the level, the C actually from RX. Undefeatable. Okay, nice. Good shit. Oh, and freaking Kivat up 2 to 1, man. What are you gonna do? Nice, good stuff. I'm actually not quite familiar with Sonic Frontiers BGM, so I'm gonna discover today. That's good. That's good, that's good. And here's where we go with the pressure from RX, trying to put some distance between him and Kivat. He's uh, currently down 2 to 1, so yeah, definitely needs to get this one and the one after if he wants to make his way to the grand final. We shall see, anyways. The ghost is out. The the Eye of Sauron is our very nice TP right there into the grab to punish the um, the, um, uh, the parry attempt from K uh, Kivat. Okay, Rx is in the corner right now, unfortunately. Me neither until I listen to this. Oh, really? Okay. Bro, this OST made me buy the game. Oh, no shit, really? Okay, I still have yet to buy the game. I need to buy it. I love Sonic games, you know, even the really shitty ones. 
I absolutely love Sonic Heroes and nobody loves this game. I actually love Sonic Adventure 2 and 1 as well. I, I love these games, but uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna uh, buy Sonic Frontier as well when it's a little bit less expensive. But yeah, definitely the... Uh, and usually the so the soundtracks of uh, of Sonic games are usually pretty good. What Even if the game is bad, usually the soundtrack is usually pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to it. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure from Kivat. Uh, but Rx gets the uh, reversal and gets hit by the Diado. Oh lord, and Kivat with the level 3. Exactly, the crush 40 carries, yeah. <laughs> here we go, the reversal and DI, man. Holy freaking look, Kivat not afraid. Just like this, Kivat is on match point, on set point actually. Let's see how this fans out. Is Kivat going to be able to seal the deal? Fortunately for him, he gets grabbed by Arx. Arx does not want to be sent to the loser's racket. Goes for the Graves. He has the Eye of Sauron out. Oh lord. Nice grab from Kivat. He's got Arx in the corner. Again, goes for the elbow drop. And he's got the... Oh lord, yeah, you can see. Arx definitely, definitely struggling right there to get Kivat off of him. <laughs> not going to lie. Here we go, the jump in. Oh, no, he tried to go for the drive rush, but no. Kiva did check him. Ah, nice reversal. We'll go with the overhead, but nice blocks from Kiva. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the grab. And the IF Siren is out. Here we go with the jump in. Kiva with the text gets hit by the level. Oh, no! No! Oryx could have finished it there. Ah, uh, he couldn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't cancel to level 3, but it's still fine. Oryx still staying alive. Two matches apiece, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Okay, and here we go. Oh, with the air to air. Very nicely done. Oh, and the perfect parry, man, from Kivat, man. Couldn't quite get anything off of it, and Rx with the reverse DI, here we go! And the corner carry as well. Okay, the eye of Sauron is out. Rx immediately goes for the DI. Okay, Kivat is out of the corner, he goes for the tick pressure. Oh, no punish right there on the DI, this is unfortunate for, the, uh, for Kivat. He does have a pretty nice combo right there. Nice corner pressure. Goes for the throw loops. Ah. And Kivat, man. Tries to find the opening. Nice here to air. Gets the elbow drop. That being said, Kivat does not have a lot of life left. And gets hit by the double grave. X version, just like this RX is on match point. Bringing it back. Oh, that was an unfortunate sweep attempt from RX. Does get the reversal and the overhead for the juggle. I have Saron is out. Oh, but unfortunately for Kivat, he gets grabbed out of it. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, but man, most of the BGM of Final Fantasy 16 is the bomb, man. So good. Oh, and Oryx, no, he feels the juggle. He almost had the win, but gets the air to air off of the TP for the kill. And just like this, Oryx takes it. Uh, versus. SKT, let's see how this pans out. Ah, just one second. Okay, we're good. Okie dokie. Oh, and the punish on the 2MK blocked with an SPD. That was optimal punish right there. Good stuff from Roxas. Let's see how this pans out. Roxas with the jump in. Goes for the driver's extension, but man, SKT with the checks right there. Manages to get a pretty nice corner carry combo. He's got the corner positioning. Ah, nice 4HK. Oh, no punish right there on the uh oh on the heavy punch. Woo! That was a pretty nice jump in. No DP. Into the SPD! Roxas with the... Uh, oh, the double SPD, bro. Hello. Where are you going? Is he going to do another one? No, he's not. Okay, nice uh, sweep right there from SKT. Probably wary of the level 3. Does not want to get hit by it. 
by any means. So let's see how this spins out. Wah, and this should do. Good stuff from Roxas, man. Takes a quick first match right here. Roxas definitely on point today, not going to lie. So it takes the first match quite convincingly. See if SKT can do the necessary adjustments in order to bring it back. We shall see. Nice with punish again. Here we go to jump in. Nice air to air right there from SKT. Gets the grab. Again, here we go to Dragon Lash. Oh, Lord. Good Lord. Sure, you can indeed. SKT with the grab. Grab loop time. Hello. Oh, no. Miss time. Not miss time, but miss uh, spaced his, uh, his grab attempt right there right after his jab. But it's still okay. He's got. A punish on the SPD attempt. Ooh, nice blo nice grab on the DI right there. But unfortunately gets grabbed. Yeah, Roxas, this is the best position for him. And SKT gets the uh, kill thanks to the trade. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with SKT and the freaking sweep. Nice air to air from Roxas. Gets hit by the DP though from SKT. To a D, uh, fully charged. Heavy punched. Oh, and the freaking jabs from SKT interrupts the drive rush attempt from Oxas. Oh, okay, nice confirms right there from SKT. Gets a corner carry. Back to the neutral. What is gonna happen? Okay, nice sweep right there. Oh, Lord, Roxas with the freaking SPD. Okay, now unfortunately for SKT right now, he is in burned out mode. Nice grab. Oh, Lord. Nice grab. Oh, Lord. Level 3. This is a little CA, actually. Not even the level 3. Yeah, that's the CA. This is going to do a ton of damage. Oh, good Lord. The damage. Let's see how this pans out. Nice grab from SKT. Okay. Oh, tried to go for another... Cheeky little grab right there and gets the kill with the 2 MK. Very nicely done by Ken. Let's see how this pans out. Mm. And here we go on to the second match of this set right now is... Oh, wow, that was so ambiguous. How did this not connect, though? This is so strange. Nice tech right there from Roxas. For the uh, 4 HK, uh, uh, HP. Ah, Roxas with the SPD, man. <laughs> Ça marche avec nous pour Oh, Lord, the X SPD for the kill. No, sorry. Uh, actually, it's SKT, right? SKT 1 1. Uh, yeah, we're good. One round of PC. Here we go with uh, the SPD yet again by Roxas. Oh, Lord. And SKT with the grabs. Rox is not content to just just blocking. He wants to yeah get the momentum back. Rox has with the DI. Nice trades. Ooh, and the confirms from SKT man. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Nice with punish. Yeah, Rox has has oh, having a pretty nice, a pretty hard time getting out of the corner, man. Not gonna lie. Here we go with SKT using, uh, making good use of Gene Lai to get the juggle and get the kill. Uh, here we go with the corner carry combo. Both players have level 3 right now. The first one to open the other is definitely going to have a, a big opportunity to make as much damage as possible. Let's see how this spins out. Nice sweep from SKT. Uh, catching SKT trying to get out of pressure right there wow and the reverse di man skt getting not only this but also his opponent in um in uh in burnt out mode this is actually not good for roxas at all let's see how this spins out yeah roxas is definitely gonna search for a way to get that level three definitely needs it ah unfortunately it gets opened up by the 2mk into the drive rush Good stuff from SKT. Takes the lead to the one. <clears throat> what is Roxas gonna do? Is he gonna do another comeback? We shall see. Nice jump in. Yes, the SPD. Nice. 
Oh no, but it's a wake up. BP for SKT. Gets out of the pressure, but unfortunately for him, gets completely jumped in right now. This is a lot of damage, actually. Whew. Yeah. And here we go with the SPD, man. Oh, Lord. Roxas, once he's in your head, he's definitely in your head, man. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, Lord. Nice tick pressure, man. And the freaking juggle. Oh, here we go, the perfect break. No! Roxas tried to go for a freaking SPD. But you know what? At least he got the, he even got the the side switch. So in the end, it worked out for him. <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, careful, though. Roxas is... Yeah, on exhaust, uh, on burnt out mode, uh, on the verge of being burnt out. I still get, I got a little bit more of drive ra gauge right now. Ah, uh, okay, here we go to the Oh, the counter, the I this time around for Roxas. Going straight into level 3 for the kill. Okay, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Roxas not out of this at all, not by any means. That being said, the one who is going to win the next match is going to make his way to the loser's final, uh, during which he will uh, have the opportunity to fight against Kivat, currently sitting on loser's final. And here's a nice grab from SKT. Let's see how this pans out. Again with the grab from SKT, trying to push Roxas in the corner. Roxas content to just block. We're going to jump in, but SKT was aware of it. Used a wonderful EP to punish it. Nice sweep, man. The whiff punish the whiff punishes using the sweep are really, really well done by SKT. Very good. The whiff punish of Roxas of his own, by the way. Okay, and there we go again with the drive rush. Oh! Roxas out of the corner tried to go for the SPD, but this time around SKT was aware of it. I smell a DI. No, we're not. No DI. Oh, wow. Okay, what is Roxas going to do? Gets hit by the DP. Okay, set point for SKT. What is Roxas going to do? He needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Well, if you, yeah, exactly. Oh, no punish right there. Too far, unfortunately, for him. No! Oh no! And SKT was aware. Of it. SKT is very, very good when it comes to not getting hit by um by uh, when it comes to countering DI. Like SKT is really on point. You could remember and see when he fought against Suzura. Like most of the DI attempts of Suzura, he managed to counter them quite convincingly. So yeah, SKT definitely is uh pretty proficient when it comes to, to punishing DI. That being said, SKT is currently oh. Uh, yeah, is currently actually pretty, is looking very, very good right now, but Roxas found the jump in and he's gonna get the punish with the SPD. We're going on to the last round of the last match for the win, the loser semifinal. Good lord. Who's gonna take it? Both opponents have fully charged uh, level threes right now. Roxas draws first blood though. Gets the extension with the drive rush. Lord gets the full combo right there. And he goes for an empty SPD. What is going to happen? Is Roxas going to make it? No! No entire on the jump in. This man bet his own career on this jump in. Here we go, the 4HS. Uh, the 4HP. Uh, oh, and the confirms off of the standing K. Roxas makes his way to the loser spot. See how this turns out. So, uh, for... Uh, your information, the person who sent Roxas in the loser's bracket, I believe was Kivat, actually. So this is actually a opportunity for Roxas to get his revenge. Let's see if he's uh, capable of doing so or not. We shall see. Uh, wait for me. Ah, uh, next nerve gift. <laughs> nerve gift. <laughs> Fighting gift is such strain, like throwing fireball is risky and one grab is uh, you screaming abort the mission, abort the mission. I kind of understand. But you know what? Uh, if you implement... Um, as he jumps in your game plan actually most of the grapplers are a lot easier to deal with yeah the thing is to really know how to implement like fuzzy jumps once you have this me me mechanism like this uh option select actually it becomes a lot easier to fight against uh against uh grapplers but yeah i know i know no nobody likes grapplers they don't 
Nobody likes like grapplers. I totally understand. But yeah, but I personally like fighting Geef, but the reason is that I'm playing Kami and well, Kami is not a good matchup against Geef. Well, for for Geef, it's not a good matchup. It's very very good for Kami though. But yeah. But anyways, that being said, on to the losers final. Let's see how this spins out. Kiva definitely has the uh, health advantage for now, but you know what? Geef doesn't really care about. Uh, about life lead because Geef has this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he, he's got this as well. It's not over though. Still needs once more, one more if he wants to get the kill. Oh no! Unfortunately for Kivat, he missed. Uh, wow, that was quick. Holy freaking lord. Uh, Kivat kind of missed, uh, judged the distance. Um, for the gra his grab range and unfortunately got hit by rocks asses so let's see how this spins out rocks ass uh, unfortunately stay uh, an unfortunate start of the game right there uh gets the side switch thanks to the back grab goes for an mtspd good lord look at this man and here we go with the di nice damage right there wow even gets the follow-up look at the damage not enough to kill though <laughs> Rock's ass with the two LPs spamming it in order to check that dive rush, drive rush attempt from from Kibat. Wow, nice. Ooh, Lord, Rock's ass definitely in the head of Kibat right now. And unfortunately, couldn't quite get the follow up of the uh, the um, of the wall splat. Let's see how this spins up. No. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Nice grab right there from Kiva. Okay, let's see how this spins out. We go with the jump in. Rock's ass. Yeah, not committing to anything really. Just wanting to check what Kiva is going to react to. Nice X Lariat right there. What is gonna happen? Oh lord. And back to the neutral. Ah. Yeah, oh, rocks ass, man. Not enough to kill, though. Did he get hit? No, he didn't. Rocks ass with the freaking suplex for the kill. Man, rocks ass getting his freaking revenge right now. Damn, smelling blood. So let's see how this spins out. There we go, the jump in again with the X Lariat. Oh, goes for the bear grab. Again with the SPD man rocks as this dude. This dude is gonna give me a freaking heart attack. It's crazy. Oh, the big DI, unfortunately, too far to get the head to connect. Kivat finally out of harm's way. <laughs> finally. <laughs> oh, no, tried to go for the DI, but unfortunately, he hit Roxas while he was in the air. And that made it so that the DI whipped. This is so unfortunate for him. Anyways, here we go with again the Lariat man. Nice air to wear by Kivat. Abort mission! Exactly. Kivat definitely wanted to abort the mission right there. No! Too far to get the SPD. Nice punish from Kivat. Using the drive rush to close the gap during the recovery uh, of uh, the... Oh no! That was an unfortunate Tatsumaki. Tatsu right there from, from Kivat. Oh, and the big DI and this is gone. No! What the hell? What are you doing, sir? Ah, oh, man. And, and Roxas using the... Uh, the drive reversal, that, this is not an attack you see very often, by the way. <gasps> Go straight for the freaking... No! Are you serious, Roxas? Roxas with the level 3 during the dizzy for the kill! And just like this, man, Roxas makes his way to the winner, the grand finals, actually. Good freaking lord! So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what, it, what, what happens. Yeah, sorry, they didn't give me the chance to update anything, by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to have to update on the fly... Let's see. Perfect. Here we go. And Arx with the very, very strong start of the round does not want to deal with anything, man. Look at this. Look at this onslaught. But then again, as you all know, Roxas really just needs one opening and that's it. Let's see if uh, Arx will actually give this opening eventually or not. We shall see. <clears throat> Good lord. Again, here we go with... Ah, here we go with the jump in. Yeah. Oh, the jump in! Roxas with the first SPD. 
tried to go for probably a deep SPD as well, but RX was there with the jab for the check. Yeah, this is a pretty tough matchup, especially against freaking RX. Oh no! RX went deep, he wanted to. Ooh, okay, here we go with the reversal. Ripley said, don't touch the suit, exactly. Okay, nice TP from RX. Uh, oh, but the raw SPD, man. Rox is not afraid. Oh, he gets the excess SPD this time. Out. Look at the damage. He just needs one more. Let's see how this pans out. Nice. Using the uh, the parry to build a little bit more his uh his his drive gauge. Oh no, entire right there from Rox has probably no, not gonna get hit by the CA. Fortunately for him. But yeah, unfortunately for him, he, he might he is in chip territory though. Ah uh, yeah, this is death. Okay, nice stuff from RX. Go straight for the level three for the kill. Well the CA actually even. Good stuff from RX. Boom! Takes the first match pretty convincingly. So let's see if Roxas can adjust and bring it back, we shall see. Okay, nice for us. Ooh! Uh, Alright. Roxas has. Oh, yeah! He went for this PD right away. What a beast. Uh, the double drive rush. Wow, okay. If at first you don't succeed. Okay, here we go to jump in. Fortunately for Roxas, he was able to recover in time, but unfortunately gets counter DI'd by RX. Roxas right now in the corner. Uh, in burnt out mode. This is not looking very good. See how this spins out. And this matchup is not easy, yeah. We go with the grave, yeah. And Rx just content to try to chip him out. Gets the kill with the grave. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, We get with the SPD, nicely done by Roxas. Wants to close the gap, gets the standing K into another drive rush. Unfortunately for him, activates the um, the trump card <laughs> from Oryx. Who goes straight into level 3. Trying to deal as much damage to the drive gauge of, uh, of uh, Roxas as possible. Probably trying to, uh, to put him in exhausted state as quickly as possible. And this is going to be pretty hard. Hard for him. And here we go with the command grab of his own for the kill. RX up to the zero. Let's see how this pans out. JP say don't touch the save. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty harsh, not gonna lie. But nice jump in from Roxas. Managed to get a lot of damage right there. Oh! We go with the TP. And rocks ass, man. Yeah. Trying to make his way. Wow. He uses the fully charged heavy punch right there. Gets hit by the J Blade, though. Ah, he's in exhausted state again. Oh, wow. That air grab, though, from RX. We go with Roxas really trying to fight his way to victory, but it's so freaking hard. This matchup is definitely not the easiest one. Nice jump in, and no, RX with the reset SPD finally manages to take one round. Okay, this is the start, the start of the comeback. The start of the comeback, bro. Here we go, the jump in. Ah, okay, here we go, the sweep. Try to go for the reset SPD, the tick SPD. The Eye of Sauron is here, but very nice uh, Lariat from, from Oxass. I tried to go for the jump in, but got interrupted by the the crystals, unfortunately. Wow. Nice trade. Got the sweep. Tried to go for the SPD again. Ah. No, okay. No level 3 right there from RX. Probably want to keep it for the, for the next round, I guess. Confident that he can just finish it here. Ah, nice 2 HS right there from... From Oryx. Ah, Oryx just content to. Oh no! Nice stuff from Oryx, man. Gumbuddy rocks ass! 
Press L3 and L... Press R3 and L3 to accept the truth. <laughs> this is looking pretty bad for Roxas, not gonna lie. Gonna get hit by all sorts of level 2s. Ah, uh, and... Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Roxas already in burnt out mode because of the level 2. This is looking pretty bad for Roxas, not gonna lie. Ah... Uh, uh, ooh, okay, the draw for Marx. This is pretty unconventional. Oh, and he went straight for the level three. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> Good stuff from Marx. Damn, that was pretty, pretty clutch. Ah, uh, but unfortunately gets hit by, yeah, on his way for the... Oh, no, and just like this. Just like this, Rx takes it a clean...